Okay. I'll don't start and stop this. You good? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. It is another video. What's up? Hey. Today I want to do... No, I don't. <laughs> a real tough time with just speaking today. I'm gonna introduce my guest that I have and it's a real surprise who it is. Do you have no idea who this is? Please enter. Enter left. Yep, you're left. Left, okay. <laughs> left stage. This one. Hey, it's Olivia. Hey. What a surprise. The only person I ever hang out with. Today we are gonna be doing the best friend tag because we are best friends. No, really? <laughs> that we hate each other. A little bit. <laughs> But we're going to be doing the best friend tag. I have the best friend tag questions pulled up on my phone. And I don't know how many we're going to take. So I think we're going to do like 25 maybe. Depending on how long it takes. So. Yeah, if it's like story time for each one, then we're going to do like two. Let's get into that. I mean, First I'll, question. I'll how and when did you and your best friend meet? Well, it's kind of weird how we met. Because we've known each other since kindergarten. We went to the same elementary school, middle school, and high school. And it's just... So we've known of each other since kindergarten, but like... We never t really talked in elementary school. Yeah, we knew. I Okay, the only time that I ever remember talking to you I was when know. we bonded over <laughs> having the same folder, and it was either third or fifth grade, the Kit Kat folder. Yes. That's the only time I actually remember talking to her yeah. until like middle school, but like the time that we were actually like considered friends was like... Sixth grade. The second semester of sixth grade because we had gym together and I had no, no. idea was it it was gym wasn't it no I thought it was first semester when we had key broading together oh my <laughs> god I forgot <laughs> about that <laughs> sorry uh, that, that's an inside joke if there's a question about inside jokes we'll get to it but we had the class keyboarding I know I said key broading that's a joke but we had the class keyboarding together and no it's not playing on a keyboard it's like a typing typing like typing. learn how to type yeah, that's, that's really dumb. And I just didn't know how to spell it, so I spelled keyboarding as keyboarding. And our teacher made fun of her. Thanks, Miss King. <laughs> yeah, it that was, was keyboarding that we Bonded. were. Yeah, but I, th I feel like we weren't, like, completely best friends until second semester. I think that's why I was thinking of it. Like, we weren't. Yeah, like, like we, we started our running because we were the only two people that each other knew. Mm. <laughs> so we just kind of, like, bonded over that, and it was a dumb class anyway. Second question. What was your first impression of each other? God, I don't know if I can remember. Well, which first which impression? first impression? Because the, the <laughs> kindergarten, third grade, fifth grade. I don't remember kindergarten except breaking my jaw. Uh, third grade, I barely remember the folder thing. I remember that because I, I felt so special that we had the same folder. <laughs> I barely remember elementary school. Like this is weird, but I do remember weird snippets. And I remember fifth grade the most. I mean, duh, because it was when I was oldest. But like, oh my god! And there's a picture. If I can find it, I'm gonna put it up right now. There's a picture that we don't remember taking at all that we're together, and we never <laughs> spoke during that time. So I have no <laughs> idea why there's a picture of us. But that's from fifth grade going to Camp Orkila. I have no idea why I exist. I don't even remember taking that, and my style is amazing. Yeah, so is mine. First impressions. <laughs> Back to the original question. <laughs> Back to um, I honestly don't remember. I just, like, from keyboarding, um, A, you were the only person that I knew, so I was like, yay! Yeah, we, had, we only knew each other because we went to the same elementary school. That was it. We had no other reason to know each other. You just, you just seemed, like, really nice and, like, friendly and, like, whatever, so I was like, hey, mm -hmm. we're friends now? Yeah. We're gonna sit in the corner, you yeah. know, whatever the color is, kept taking our seats. No, no, we wanted to sit on, like, high stools right by the door, mm -hmm. and we sat there for the first few days, and then I think her name was Angela. Not, mm -hmm. not that one. Not, um, not from dance team. And started taking that seat, and we were like... So we just went and sat in the corner in the back. I feel like my first impression of you was, I feel like we were both crazy separately, but when we first started talking, we did, we were not crazy at all until like the very end, because we were, because we, I think we were both like freaking each other out, like we'd do something weird and then we were kind of like, what? I know. And then we were kind of like, oh my god, we have the same type of crazy, oh my, like, god, oh my god, let's oh be god. best friends, oh my god. <laughs> so I feel like at first we were kind of shy, but like eventually we were like, oh my god, we're pretty much the same person. <laughs> Actually insane. What's your favorite memory together? 
there's oh, too many to freaking, oh my god. Okay, wait, okay I, it's not really like a specific memory, but just getting ice cream every week, yes. getting a big tub of chocolate ice cream from grocery outlet, and just Barbie sitting, market. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> getting a big tub of chocolate ice cream and sitting on the benches right outside the, or right outside of our middle school. We would take the pack of like 100 spoons and we hid it somewhere so that we didn't have to constantly buy spoons, because like, why would we buy 100 spoons for two of them, like? So we just hid them. Three, depending yeah. if we had guessed. Yeah, but that we always did that and it was just really funny. Anyway, next anyway. question. Describe each other in one word. For you, I would say determined because like with things that you have, you're always determined to do them and you're always like it's just like even with school kind of <coughs> like, um, YouTube, just everything in life, you're determined to do it, and, like, you Whether or not I do it is one thing, but at least I'm determined to do it. Yeah, it's like she's always determined, if she has something in mind, she's most likely going to do it, and it's... Yeah, I will do my very best to do it. <laughs> I don't Excuse know if she did, did you say something? I don't know. I don't know, I didn't. For you... <laughs> uh, this bitch. is why we're insane, by the way, is that we just did that, and then I immediately... It's going to probably look like she cut the clip, but it immediately went to... For you, like... I'm gonna say... There's someone singing Amazing Grace out there. <laughs> Amazing. <coughs> I'm sorry. Maybe Grace is singing it. Oh my god. Her name's Gracie, but that's okay. <laughs> what? Her name's Gracie. Who's Grace? Who's Grace? No, you said Grace is singing it. Amazing Grace? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I Gracie? The K and Gracie? Oh. My favorite. Oh, so no, also, don't know. ask me who's Grace. My middle name is Grace. I know, but that's not your first name. <laughs> Do I refer to you as Grace? No. <laughs> I'm gonna say, because I don't have a lot of time to come up with one. Uh, I'm gonna say, like, adventurous. Because you aren't just adventurous in, like, I want to go... That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> I was like, I want to go on to building. That's not what I like, example, like, dance team. Like... I guess this kind of feeds into the word that you pick for me, which is fine. Um, because the first time, that doesn't make any sense to them. Coming out of middle school, you always, you wanted to be on the dance team. Mm -hmm. And so, like, you tried to get in freshman year and you didn't. But, like, you, you were, in, like, adventurous enough, I guess, to, like, A, do it in the first place, because heck no to me. <laughs> um, like, yeah, sure, I'm determined, but am I going to go do that? No. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> Extrive it. Describe and explain. Extrive it. You're just adventurous. We're gonna go with that. I can't explain. I understand what you're saying. If you don't, I'm really sorry. Next one. What is something that annoys you about the other person? Okay, I would say the thing that annoys me about you, and it kind of involves me too, is that with the stupidest things, we will just have an argument about it and then be oh, mad yeah. at each other for so long. Okay, the first major argument that we had that was definitely my fault the two arguments that we've had my fault but i feel like the fact that we it's kind of about both of us but the fact that like if we get in an argument we won't talk like one time we did not talk to each other for a, a year. year and that was like honestly during that part it was during freshman year i was the loneliest saddest person because i did not Same. have any friends and it was like it, and the friends that i didn't have were no offense to them, but pretty fake, and they just, mm -hmm. they were yeah. not fun. I mean, I can just think of, like, little, like, things, like, times, but, like, nothing, like, current, like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Not a thing that happens all the time? Yeah. It's just, like, a few times, like, something happened that I was, like... You're like, excuse me, really? But, like, no. I guess I'll just use one of those examples. Like, a few times, and I understand this because I'm the same way, it's just, if we're... On opposite, I'm gonna say on opposite days. Yeah, if I want to go like do a photo shoot or whatever, and then you're just like, I want to just chill and have party. <laughs> and then the next day it would be like, I want to do a photo shoot. And she's like, No, no, I'm sleeping. Bye. <laughs> and we're, it's like because sometimes we're just complete opposites, and we're like, No, I don't want to do that. And then some days we're completely the same. <laughs> like we're just on the same. Yeah. I don't, there's nothing like that. I'm like fighting about. This one we've talked about so many times. If you and your best friend could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Three, two, one, England! <laughs> yeah, we want to live in England so bad, like, maybe not for the rest of our lives, but, like, we want to live there at least for, like, a year or two. It's just, like, we've, we both have, like, fallen in love with England. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but, like, we're definitely going to visit at yeah. least. Yeah. We're we'll going at least to. travel there for, like, a little bit. Yeah. I want to experience Christmas there because it's... 
seems really fun because mm -hmm. I've, I've watched it through Zoe's vlogs. I don't know if it's just because like the way that Zoe makes it seem, it's just because it just looks, it, it looks so fun and it's like the complete opposite of us pretty much. The way that they live is kind of the opposite oh, of okay. how we live. It just seems really fun there. But if that doesn't happen, I, I feel like we're going to end up living in California. I don't know what specific place yet, but we, I feel like that's a little bit more attainable than moving to England. <laughs> I kind of want to move to England, but like. California, I feel like, and no, that's just not the classic thing. Like, we want to move there because we're it's famous. famous. Like, me, like, me, me. I don't want to be stuck in Seattle for the rest of my life. No, thank you. Absolutely not. Let me admit that I do love this city, like, because I've grown up with it. I've grown up in it, and like, whatever, and I just love it. But I don't want to be stuck here my whole life. We've both grown up in the same house pretty much since we were born, or at least since you remember. Yeah. We've both grown up here, and I feel like we. It would just be a nice change. To be able to go somewhere. What is your favorite inside joke that you and your best friend share? Oh, God. There's too many to count. Our inside jokes have changed because our main one used to be your face as response to everything, but now it's more like, ah, your mom. I, I say your mom all the time. <laughs> no, actually, you also always say everyone and their mother. Yes. Which is amazing, and I love that. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. I just. I just had one and I lost it. Where'd it go? <laughs> is that we have code names for people and like some of them are verbal and some of them we have sign signs for like sign language we have he him it those she. are the main ones nowadays yeah. but we have and then there's is it which one is it yeah we have this one for someone we have this but i think we changed it yeah i don't remember and we then we have two. this one yeah we have signs for people and we always do them to each other and everyone is like what the heck heck are you talking about that makes no sense but the inside joke part of that is more like if we say something like, oh do like go do it you know no don't don't, do don't, don't do it no no, no. <laughs> go, go do the other thing just don't don't do it i feel like this is kind of an obvious one who takes longer to get ready in the morning yeah because okay on it like a daily basis i don't put on makeup at all like i mean i have makeup on today and if i have like extra time i will do it but i most of the time I don't, but like still I take much longer to get ready because I'm like, my hair, my freaking skincare, my freaking... And she's just like, you know what, I look like a homeless person, let me, let me be. Going to school I could care less. Like I still might myself look presentable, mind you, but like I will just wear a baggy sweatshirt and leggings and be like... Yeah. And sometimes I, I do that, that, but still, I'm just like... It's fine. Yeah, and I, I don't... I mean, the only time that I will take a long time is, like, to get ready for something is on, A, like, a day that I'm literally doing nothing, and B, if I'm, like, either taking a bath, because usually I'd take a bath and then, like, do a face mask, and then be like, okay, I'm ready, <laughs> and that takes 10 years, but, like, also in the shower, if I'm washing my hair, that just takes me, actually, a decade to do. Wait, did you press record? Yes. Oh. Did I? Yes. Question number nine. What's your best friend's dream job? I think, at least recently, you want to try to become like a full-time YouTuber. Mm -hmm. At least make it like a side job or something. Yeah, I, I want to kind of become like an influencer. And it's not that I, I, it's not about the numbers, it's just that I want to like get my message out there. You want to be entertaining to people. Like there, you want to make them smile. Yeah, yeah, I want to make people smile because that's, I, okay, I love when I make people laugh. That's my favorite thing in the world. Because she's really funny, honestly. <laughs> But for you, I feel like you would. Like, I've changed it so much to see if she'll get okay, it. I feel like you, like you would want to do this as a job. But like, if it really came to it, if you would, I would want the more behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, like I she would, would if she the, ever became like a big substantive, then I would be her editor. Yeah, like my editor, my photo taker, my fix the camera, or you know, photographer. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Fix the camera. Yeah. That's my job. I'll put that on my resume. Yeah, please do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask this, but I don't know if it's if it's a good one. Question number ten. What is your What is the name of your best friend's first crush? Let me explain something. She does not have that many crushes. She has like maybe three people that she's like, yeah, these people are like cute, but she never like actually says. Yeah, I like them. With me, she can tell right away if I think someone's cute because I'm very awkward around people. Hey, if any boy <coughs> I've ever met, if you if I'm awkward around you, that means that I think you're cute. Just as an FYI. I've gotten better about it. Like in 
I didn't have crushes in elementary school. Like, I'm sorry. I really no, didn't. she didn't. Um, there was this one kid who everyone thought was cute. She, I don't think you ever thought he was cute. No, I mean, I didn't mind his appearance, but I wasn't like, oh my god, marry me. Like, I was Like, like every other person, including <laughs> me. I'm the one that just falls for people really easily. I haven't, it, yet, I'm the one that hasn't had a boyfriend before. She's had one, like, two. two. Let me just say something. The, her first boyfriend, you, I don't think I've ever heard you once, like, even when you were dating him, I don't think you ever said, yeah, I love him, or yeah, I like him. I don't think I ever heard you say that, and when you guys hey. first started dating, they dated when this person was in love with her, and she was just kind of like, sure, I'll date you, and I was kind of playing- It was her ball. Yeah, <laughs> I was playing Cupid, and then I was, because I honestly thought it would not last that long, because I, I did it because I was thinking in my head- well, one, it would be good for you, and two, I never really, like, seen anyone, or, like, I haven't, like, no one has ever, like, been, like, oh, I, like, I really like your best friend, like, she's really pretty. I mean, people have told me that now, but at the time, no one had said that. The major reason why I did it was because I was, like, eh, it's gonna last maybe, like, a month, maybe two, but, no, it lasted for almost, almost two, two years. years. That, that, and that was be and that whole relationship started our second ever fight. The yeah. biggest fight that we ever had. The one where we didn't talk for a year. <laughs> Do you remember any of my crushes? Just, um, uh, just here's 15,000. Wait, didn't you, you, hey, hold on. What? How many, you, you did people though. It was stupid middle school relationships where I didn't even, I was like, oh my god, I'm not holding hands with you, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so let's, she basically has like verbally dated someone. Um, mm -hmm. like just like they ask, each other out, they both say yes, but they never like hang out, talk, like anything like that. Do those count? Kind of. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> well, I know you're, I know the crush that you kind of already talked about but didn't say his name. You can bleep it out. It's not that I don't appreciate his look, I just know him too much where I'm like, no. <laughs> you're weird. Anyway, I'm thinking of one right now that um, it was in, in sophomore year. The biggest one that I ever had. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think he's ever gonna find this if you do uh, oh, cash I'm gonna hurt you I'm kidding I will come hurt you too question 11 <laughs> what, what three things would your best friend take with them to a deserted island uh, does the deserted island have service <laughs> I know. I okay know. let's let's say it doesn't because then it's gonna be if it did then it'd be my phone my charger and a freaking your mother <laughs> <laughs> but let's say it doesn't have service and you can't have your phone. Okay, let's just say the battery was like lifelong lasting, like it didn't die. Yeah. I feel like you'd bring a camera. Like yes, yeah, just to film stuff. What other stuff? A chocolate. Yes. You would take a camera, chocolate, and I feel like a blanket of some sort. Like a blanket yeah. or sweatshirt, because you always get cold, so like just bring cold. a big blanket, I don't know. For you, you'd also bring a camera if it was magic. <laughs> I feel like you would try to bring, like, a cat. Yeah. <laughs> you would try to bring Missy. I feel like you would bring, like, a thing of makeup just because you would get bored. Yeah. And you would just do makeup and jump right. And if the cameras weren't a thing, you would bring your, um... Oh, my disposable camera? No. What phobias does your best friend have? Do you have tryptophobia? Who? Oh. oh, the circle? Who? <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, you're afraid of growing up. Oh, I guess there is one animal that I am not okay with. Platypuses. What animal are you afraid of? I'm not necessarily, well, I'm I just, just... Birds? Yeah, I'm <laughs> terrified of birds. <laughs> I see a bird, I'm just out here. I mean, Sam, <laughs> Sam from Sam and Colby is afraid of sunsets, so... The only animal, I'll just say it and see if you can come up with something else I'm afraid of, but no, the, an the only animal that I'm afraid of, like, it are scorpions. They can fight me. Duh. They can't fight me. They can leave. <laughs> they can leave. fight me. <laughs> they can just leave right now because I hate them. What are you obsessed with or what are your friends' obsession? Uh, sad. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> obsessions. Obsessed with. What are you, well, I know what you're obsessed with. What? Uh, Colby. <laughs> yeah, I am obsessed with Colby. I love Colby. No, but there's one other like physical thing that I'm obsessed with. And I'm not saying that Colby's not physical, but Colby's not physically <laughs> like in my life. Object candles? Yeah. But there's one thing. I put it on two seconds ago. Oh, chapstick. Sorry, you guys, the camera turned off. Question 15. If your friend has a nickname or many nicknames, what are they? You're gonna get the thing that no one knows your real name because it's my fault. My nickname for her is M. Obviously, it's short for Emily. Like, that's a very classic nickname. But I call her M basically 
Every time. Every single time she refers to me, it's M. Or my sister. And because of that, all of our friends call her M. I, f I feel like some of them don't even know my real name because everyone just calls me M. Like, and I can back that up because when they refer to her with me, like, they ask me, oh, where's M? They ask me, where's M? And I'll just respond, I don't even think about it. And then one day she was like, does anyone know my real name? And I go, what are you talking about? Because one of her friends that I barely ever talked to, he referred to me as M when he was talking to me. And I go, <laughs> and I, ven I eventually was oh, like, yeah. what is, wait, hold on. Does he actually know my real name? Like, because he called me M mm -hmm. and that's just, and I'm not, it's not like I don't like the nickname. It's just like, I was like, does anyone actually know my name? Because on dance team, I'm. Emily T because there's Emily C, Emily T, and Emma. So if you yell M, all of us are gonna answer, and Emily, two of us are gonna answer, and sometimes Emma answers. It's just really annoying. I mean, my family has a lot of nicknames for me that were already taken. Plus, my I'm gonna call him my second father already gave me a new nickname. Just one sec. No, I call you I call you Olive, Liv. But we call each other sister, best friend. And we have stupid nicknames for each other, like I'm Jesus in her phone. And sometimes we don't even need to say each other's names, we'll just yell from the other room, Hey! And they'll be like, what? <laughs> Question 16. What's your friend's worst habit? I think, like, there's certain things that we do, they're not, like, necessarily bad habits, but they're just habits that we have. Yours is what you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> if I have rings on my finger, I do this, like, I twist it. I'll do it with, when I had a ring, I would do this. That yeah, makes no she, sense if I don't have a ring, but I like spin out my finger like that. I guess another habit I have that I just recently noticed that I've had for a while because my other people pointed out. If I'm concentrating, I will. It's gonna sound very sexual. I will just like bite my lip in concentration, or I'll stick out my tongue, mm -hmm. bending but much more in the lip than the tongue. Yeah. And it kind of gets me into trouble sometimes. So. I bite like the inside of my lip. If I'm nervous, I spin my ring or I play with my earrings. Mm. Hey, at least we don't do the. Oh my gosh, literally every guy in our school, it's, and I'm not saying this to be rude to like people with Tourette's, but like, it's like they have Tourette's with this one thing. It's like this we clicking noise. It. It's like this freaking clicky thing that it's they like do. It's like you, you can do, like you can shake your hand in a weird way that two of your fingers, it sounds like you're snapping. But it's like the, you hit your fingers and it, and I don't understand how they do it. Cause there's, but it's like a freaking like obsession that everyone has. Because there's a kid in uh, my TA period, his name's Gunner. Hi Gunner, if you're watching. But he, You're watching, I'm worried. <laughs> but he does this, like, he does that all the time. And it's not like he does it if someone tells him to do it or if you see someone else do it. It's like he's honestly, like, he, he'll do it during a test. Like, he'll be working on his test. He'll put down his pencil. And while he's thinking, he'll do this off to the side and then continue with his test. And I don't know if that's just, like, a... Th it's literally, like, every guy I've seen yeah, do like, it. Hey, guys, sorry, this is my phone. My camera is being dumb and saying I don't have any so storage, even though I literally just cleared it of about 200 videos, but it's fine. I'm just going to figure that out later. So if you guys want more of her, then go subscribe to her. Reason. Or if you want me to make more videos with her, please tell me that. She's probably going to be in videos anyway, but that's okay. hate me, I'm sorry. That's fine. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a good day, a good night, whatever time of day it is for you. So yeah, bye guys!